I've often spoke here on this show, council culture and the woke brigade is big, but it's getting even bigger in London. So if you're planning to visit, I would suggest you come very quickly because the London that you know could possibly change beyond all recognition. Let me explain. Good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Nice to see you as ever. Go on, let's have a big wave. Yes, for those that are lucky enough to travel, for those that can afford to travel in this cost of living crisis, wherever we are around the world, we're all feeling the pinch, aren't we? No, I am. Don't get me going about shopping. Oh, things are not just going up in pennies, are they? Going up in tens, 20 pences and getting smaller. Yes, but of course, but as ever, there's always a bargain to be had, isn't there? You know, my fridge is full of those yellow stickers, you know, the reduction ones. People laugh at me, but I just love a bargain. It's the northerner in me, obviously. But on a more serious note, the Council Culture Walk Brigade is bigger than ever. And let me explain the reasons behind that, because if you're coming to London, you know, when you come to London, you look at places and you think, oh, wow, the historical background to this particular area, you know, whether it be Camden, Hammersmith, Kensington, wherever, there's all got a major, major historical background to it. But very soon, 45 boroughs are going to be under investigation as to whether they should have their names changed, statues removed, and entire boroughs totally changing their name. Why? Well, it's all down to this man, the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan. Amazingly got in for a second time, literally running the city to the ground, but as ever, there's no accounting for the fact that, amazingly, people seem to vote for him. I can't wait for postal votes myself, can you? An identification where you have to show exactly who you are, take off everything so you can see exactly who's voting for who. You get my drift. Interesting to note though that this particular situation, if you live in London, is going to be costing you a lot of money because the name changes of particular streets that may be associated with colonialism or indeed slavery, anything like that, they want to change them all. Now, as I've said many times here on the show, it's history. History has already been made. We're making history right now, all of us. Does it really matter? Why be offended? Because somebody's going to be offended in a hundred years time what you did in one fell or another. It's just the way life is, isn't it? But now, as I say, London, they want to change names, streets, and even entire boroughs, costing the local area tens of thousands of pounds in many cases. But Sadiq Khan simply doesn't care. The fact that people are struggling, living on the streets, and of course, uh, army veterans, homeless, all that sort of stuff, oh no. It's a bigger issue of making sure that people aren't offended by walking past a simple street name. So when you do come to London, double check your history books because by the time you get here, things could have changed beyond all recognition. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.